Yuga Labs have launched their metaverse on Saturday night here in US time, and it's come with a few controversies. Uh, there's a lot of things that happen, which I'm going to walk you through today uh, on just a get-to-know basis from an investor standpoint. We're going to look at the Yuga Labs metaverse. We're going to look at the NFT sales that happen, the Ethereum transaction uh, costs and also eight coin. We're going to look at it all, really break it down in about five or 10 minutes. So you get the most out of this video in the shortest amount of time. Uh, if you're new to NFTs or you're new to crypto or you're in crypto, but haven't quite kept up with the NFT space, this place is wild with Bitcoin and, and most altcoins shopping sideways are going down. The NFT space is still throwing so many, uh, crazy opportunities. And this is just another, Thing that's added to the list recently moonbirds was most recent and now we've got the yuga labs metaverse launch which i don't know there's a few interesting things i'm going to walk you through today there's some pros and some cons i'll let you decide on a few different take, uh, takes but at the end of it we're going to wrap up with our thoughts on do we think apecoin is a good investment as well as the metaverse land sales so uh g'day my name is ben here from collective shift where we give you the shortest uh amount of time possible hopefully some actionable takeaways so you don't have to do all the work yourself if you like these videos, it would really help us out. If you could uh, give us a like and or a subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Let's get into it. So Yuga Labs sees over $560 million in uh, Ethereum NFC, NFT sales on Saturday night. Absolutely huge. The company's already worth about $4 billion in sales. So if you don't know what uh, Yuga Labs is, they basically own... Um, Oh, that's the wrong thing. They uh, they own a number of NFTs, some of the top uh, NFTs in the space. So they own Board Ape Your Club, they own the CryptoPunks, and they own MeBits NFTs. And I think they're going to continue to start acquiring more uh, NFT collections. But they basically uh, have launched this uh, other side, which is their new metaverse. It isn't, or well, it isn't out yet, but they on so they sold uh, their land sales now. There was an overwhelming response to try and buy these uh, deeds or other deed, they call it, for the NFT sales. There's been over $500 million in sales. 55,000 NFTs were minted and you needed to buy ApeCoin. So ApeCoin is the uh, Yuga Labs, uh, I guess, tokenized ERC20 token that they're looking for that token to be the currency that funds the whole metaverse space. And they want it to be the... Uh, metaverse coin that uh, I guess fuels a lot of the, the different ecosystems and we've seen OpenSea, the, the biggest NFT provider now, uh, use uh, OpenSea or one of their currencies on the platform, FTX and a number of other exchanges are now accepting uh, ApeCoin as their uh, or as a currency. Now, you know, do we see ApeCoin uh, being the, the selected Web3 currency? I've had yet to be seen. Uh, personally, I, I, I kind of hope not. <laughs> I just think it's a bit, a little bit ridiculous. But I mean, the, the stuff that they're uh, building over at Yuga Labs is pretty big, and you know, raised a four billion dollar valuation. Um, they are a, a company to be reckoned with. So, we've seen already two hundred forty-two million dollars in secondary sales traded. But what we saw, with the biggest problem that we saw on Saturday night, was the huge transaction fees. So, uh, one of the problems that they saw in uh, the the contract, the smart contract within the uh, the minting of the uh, NFTs was. You know, as some of the, uh, I guess, more um, smarter people than me, the, the developers found out that there was nearly zero gas optimizations. And uh, Will, Will Papa, the co-founder of Syndicate Dow, argued that uh, changing a few words could have saved over $80 million in gas fees. So there was uh, some people were paying around $6,000 worth of Ethereum in gas fees. If you're not familiar with gas, it's basically the, the transaction fee to, to make the transaction happen. So usually it's only you know, maybe $50, $100, but people were paying 100 to 200 times their normal gas fees and then actually not even getting the mint of the NFT. So basically, uh, a proof of stake system like uh, Ethereum basically means that people are, you know, to try, when there's a, so many people trying to get a uh, small amount of, um, you know, NFT sales, for example, you're yeah, basically having gas wars. So people are trying to increase the number, uh, the amount of gas they're paying so the miners will accept their transactions they can get those NFTs, which then keeps sending the, fee soaring and continue to go up and some people are paying three four five six ten thousand dollars worth of fees and they're not even getting their mint which is absolutely huge now uh the yuga labs have come out and said they're going to be reimbursing anyone that got a failed mint and paid those fees which is good to see uh but still goes to show you know maybe some uh, some uh, not holes but again the uh restrictions of the technology of, of ethereum obviously there's other protocols that can tr um, do transactions faster like Solana, Cardano, there's a few other different uh, blockchains that you know can do uh, similar transactions but faster, but Ethereum still is the uh, holding the dominant force. But there are some, uh, I guess, some uh, 
different stories out there that Yuga Labs may have done this on purpose because they actually uh, tweeted out here that they potentially uh, will maybe uh, create their own chain, basically their own blockchain uh, of Yuga Labs and, and ApeCoin. So that's yet to be seen, a bit of a conspiracy story at this point, but uh, here it is here. They apologize for turning the lights off on Ethereum and uh, they said that ApeCoin will need to mi uh, migrate to its own chain in order to properly scale. So that's one of the, the conversations and broader topics of layer one solutions right now, which ones they're gonna be the dominant force. They all have their pros and cons uh, between a Solana, Ethereum, Cardano, etc., etc. But that's yet to be seen. Um, but what do we know about this metaverse so far? So if you haven't seen the uh, trailer, head over to uh, other side and you can see uh, you know, some of the things they're building inside the metaverse. They're wanting this to be the metaverse where all NFT collections will come and build inside their metaverse. So um, super interesting. This is basically what the uh, NFTs look like. So basically you're buying lots in the uh, metaverse. It hasn't been announced when the metaverse is gonna launch yet, but there's all sorts of different things inside the metaverse, like artifacts, different resources, different characters, strangers they're calling them. Uh, and yeah, different land plots as well that have different characteristics and different uh, variables uh, that, um, different properties, sorry, that will, will be priced differently. So super interesting. We saw ApeCoin really dump after uh, the announcement came out. I had a lot of questions, a lot of people emailing me, messaging me, asking about should I buy ApeCoin? Uh, this was a couple of weeks ago when you know everyone was seeing that the the metaverse will be launching soon i then did this video uh speaking about the most common crypto mistake which is buying the hype and selling the news so many people were buying during this period here rallying up to the top and usually you see that blow off top just at the top of the announcement or when something occurs and then we see this sharp sell off so we've seen uh in the last 24 hours apecoin sell off about 20 percent which again happens time and time again so you know, if you're seeing these announcements, these huge buildups, these moments, usually uh, that's priced in ahead of time. So just be careful when you're buying into these projects when you know something's coming up, because usually that's already priced in, and bang, when the announcement happens, we have that sell-off, which is exactly what's happened here. So is this a good entry for ApeCoin? Potentially, we're seeing that market around $4 billion right now. Uh, there is a lot of utility and things that obviously there's a lot of money being poured into ApeCoin. Uh, and the, you know, the Board Ape Your Club, I think we're seeing Board Ape Your Club at already 150, um, eighth floor now so yeah a lot of things are happening on the uh ape ape coin side with you know that owner uh yuga labs really bringing in a uh you know that private company starting to own a lot of the um some of the top projects and yeah in terms of that ip and that foundation it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens but the the ape coin itself they're looking to be that currency of the in-game currency within their metaverse uh, and also going to the currency between different platforms as well. As I mentioned, you can now pay um, with ApeCoin on OpenSea, FTX, etc., etc. So, yeah, it's interesting. We think the bullish side, you know, being backed by a A16Z and raising in a four billion dollar valuation. I mean, they've got a lot of money to play with, which is obviously pretty bullish. The ARC20 token has gone pretty uh, well so far. I mean, straight in the top 30 within a few weeks. Uh, and the the bland plot sale for other side, which has probably been the biggest NFT event uh, year to date. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what the uh, what the outcome of that is. Maybe it's a good entry here at sixteen dollars. Potentially, we'll go a little bit lower. Obviously, Ethereum and the and the wider crypto uh, ecosystem right now is you know seeing a pretty bearish sell off. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. It's obviously been a big uh, big 24, 48 hours in uh, Ethereum and NFT land. Over $100 million, as I mentioned, being sold, uh, sorry, spent on uh, transaction fees, gas. What do you think? What Do we think we should be moving away from Ethereum? Did Yuga Labs uh, do this on purpose? Could they have done a better job? Is this just a, uh, a stepping stone to them building their own chain? That's yet to be seen. Uh, and lastly, I'll just finish with the co-founder of Board 8 Build Club mentioning, needless to say, tonight didn't go how anyone wanted it to. I wanted to say sorry to the apes and to everyone else who eagerly looked to join the project. It's been especially a sour moment since Other Side has been a passion project for so long. Um, so, look, I think it, it'll continue going on. This will be launched pretty soon. I'm personally not buying an ape coin. Uh, I think at a $4.5 billion valuation, probably some more undervalued projects out there right now. Uh, personally, haven't gotten into uh, Board Ape, uh, sorry, the, uh, the the NFT land sale, but Nathan, our research analyst who's a Board Ape owner, still is very bullish on Ape, and he minted that land uh, last night, so we'll yet to be seen, but uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Hopefully, that's kept you across of what's going on. I'll leave some of those links below, uh, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Are you buying Ape? I'd love to know. Thanks, and bye for now.